This ancient last name has its origins in early English history, dating back to a time before the Anglo-Saxons and Normans. It was commonly used as an occupational name for someone who worked for an abbot, or it could have been a nickname for someone who behaved like an abbot. In some cases, the name may have referred to the child of an abbot, although there is some uncertainty since clergy members were expected to be celibate. The surname is also found in Scotland, where it is either of English origin or a translation of MacNab, which also means son of the abbot. The original spelling was Abbot, and a person named Ralph Abbot was recorded in Somerset in 1272. The patronymic form of the name is usually indicated by the suffix s, and occasionally as Abbotson, such as Dorothy Abbotson, who was recorded in St. Botolph's Bishopgate, London, on November 11, 1823. There are various spellings of the name, including rare forms like Habit and Labbet. Early examples of the name include Walter Abbot, mentioned in the Assize Court Rolls of Yorkshire in 1219, and Elizabeth Abbott, who married Henry Waterman at the Church of St. Lawrence Poutney, London, on January 11, 1600. William Abbott was baptised at St. Olaf's Church, London, on July 15, 1564. Elizabeth Abbott was recorded as a living in Virginia over the river on February 16, 1623, making her one of America's earliest colonists. The coat of arms associated with the name features a red field with a gold chevron between three golden pairs. The earliest recorded spelling of the family name is that of Walter Abbott, dated circa 1190, in the Danelaw records of Lincolnshire during the reign of King Richard I, also known as Richard the Lionheart, from 1189 to 1199. Surnames became necessary when governments introduced personal taxation, known as the poll tax in England. Throughout the centuries, surnames in every country have continued to evolve, often resulting in surprising variations of the original spelling.